Okay, now I know there's a lot of healers out here, right? A lot of healers and teachers. So what helps, like I'm a healer and teacher myself. So what helps us to be the best versions of that that we can possibly be? So let's say someone is standing before you and they are in need of some counsel or some help. And you've prepared yourself before they got there. So you've meditated and you're satisfied and you feel the love of source. You're tuned in, tapped in, turned on. And when you see them, you don't let their fear over their current condition interfere with what you know. That's how Jesus healed. His knowledge of their wellness was so dominant that their illness could not abide in his vibration. Then he said, go forth and tell no one. Because he knew if they went home and talked about it, they'd get talked right back into wherever they were before. It's about being so stable in your belief of this person's ability to be well that there's no equivocation in your vibration. There's no fluctuation in your vibration. There's no doubt in you. Even if there's a lot of doubt in them, there's no doubt in you. Most people don't practice that alignment. They let conditions control their vibrational response. You got to believe in wholeness. You got to believe in this source love and you can't believe it because somebody else believes it and they're spewing at you. Even if they get up really close and really loud and shout it at you, you got to tune yourself in. You got to quiet your mind. You got to let your resistance go. You got to let your vibration rise and you've got to feel the power of that connection. And when you do that and you do it consistently enough, then nothing can take it from you eventually. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Lastly, if you um, have a big network of friends, family, community, are you more connected to source energy? Like if you, like, like it's like a... Your connection to source energy has not one thing to do with one other human on the planet. It's all you and you. And you don't need a big bank of people supporting you in order to be more powerful. You could not be more powerful in your connection to source energy. The leverage is huge, you see. And the thing that's really interesting about this question is because it sort of backfires on most people because they think I've got all these people who are with me, which seems like a nice thing and really is. We're not trying to discourage you from lovely friendships and networks, but if you're dependent upon their belief in you one little bit, instead of your own alignment with source, then it's a disservice that they're doing for you. That's what so many people do. Parents do it to children and children ask for it from parents. If you will love me, then I will be whole. That's not ever going to make you whole because that person is never going to be able to keep a steady gaze upon you. It's not fair to ask somebody else to be your relationship with your inner being. You got to foster it yourself. You got to accomplish it yourself. And in that there is utter unequivocal freedom. Yes. Lastly, if you're dependent upon one other for your alignment that's too much to ask of them that's too much to ask of them yes like meditating it's so much to ask of them that Jesus said forgive them because they know not what they do yes 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 lastly lastly one more so meditating that's what he meant yes that's what he meant that's what he meant he wasn't talking about the stabbing he was talking about the dependency they depend on me when the kingdom of heaven is within them yes. 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 now what is a feeling like meditating with uh, maybe friends or maybe your mate is it a more intensified opposed to just Can meditating be. by yourself it's not necessary and it's usually more distracting than it is helpful okay and it sends the wrong message to yourself it sends the message I alone I'm not powerful enough I need to gather numbers humans think there's strength in numbers source knows that there's strength in clarity oh all right all right I appreciate it I appreciate it yeah. really good really good thank you so much really good Hello. Uh, so long in my life, I wanted uh, a relationship with someone. I think, I think that I wanted a relationship and I thought about it all the time. 
in the past year or so, I kind of just stopped caring about it and decided that I would be happy with me. And if I find a relationship, my life would be fantastic. And if I didn't, my life would be fantastic as well. And if I'm happy with me and I find a relationship, then it's going to be a fantastic relationship. And if I'm not happy with me because I don't have a relationship, then no matter how many of them come, it won't be good. So I've been listening to, uh, to your teachings for several years. And when I'm feeling down, I gravitate towards you. I'm on YouTube. I'm listening to you when I'm driving to work and falling asleep. Then I feel good and I go away from it. But again, this past year, as I've uh, just been living my life, I made it part of my... Even in that explanation, you're a little bit dependent upon what you're hearing from us. You want to just get tuned in. Once you get tuned in, that is a sustainable vibration. And you do. We're just taking a little issue with the way you just played that last scenario out. And also, it's not very flattering to us that when you're down is when you reach for us. <laughs> it's logical in some sense that when you feel that you have a problem that that's when you reach for the solution out on the table you may have seen them there are six decks of affirmation cards beautifully created cards and we made sure that they are vibrationally accurate every word on every card in every deck but if you're having a problem of some kind feeling not appreciated or feeling unloved or worried about something and you decide that you will look through those affirmation cards you will want to mock every one of them <laughs> they will just annoy you because they are pointing out something that you are not feeling and it just aggravates the crevasse between you and you so the time to listen to Abraham his after meditation when you're tuned in tapped in turned on because then you're more likely to hear something that you've never heard before that's the reason that coming together in these gatherings is so beneficial because as we are together for a few hours you get into that receiving mode and then you start realizing things and hearing things that you have not known before yeah so I was saying that I I kind of stopped focusing on, on this want and this this lack of a relationship in my life and I met someone last August while I was in this vibrational state, which I am most of the time of not really focusing on the lack of a relationship. And this person, we met as friends and he checked off almost every single box, except he was with someone. He just moved to my city in, uh, in Canada from overseas and he was in this long distance relationship. So I thought, okay, you're not the one we could be friends, but then they broke up and so the, these, these pure feelings of joy are always felt when we're around each other. And the one most important, or one of the most important boxes he doesn't check off is that he's not there at that, standing at the bridge ready to cross with me. And so my question is, is it possible to attract someone into your life, a, a mate, a romantic partner, the right person at the wrong time? Yes, which makes them not the right person. <laughs> Timing is everything. That's like saying at eight o'clock they played my favorite song, but I turned my radio on until 8.05. <laughs> so what difference does it make? Also something that's possible is practicing a vibration of yearning more than pure desire and not really knowing the difference and so attracting something that has all of those components but remember from wherever you stand you can get to where you want to be the point that we're really wanting to make is that you don't need to change persons in order for everything to line up the way that you want it to but it twists your brain into a knot when you try to figure the past and the present and the future all out you're on the right track just getting into that satisfying mode we were talking a few weeks ago with a man who had invented a barbecue contraption and he wanted it to go better for him and during the course of a rather long conversation with him we asked the audience does he need to be satisfied in order for this to go well and the audience resoundingly said yes and we said does his satisfaction have to be about the barbecue and the audience resoundingly said, no, 
in other words he doesn't have to be satisfied about any specific subject or person he just has to be satisfied we know it's a terrible price to pay <laughs> feel satisfied on your way to everything you want we get how that would annoy you <laughs> so if you practice satisfaction because it matters more to you than the relationship satisfaction matters more to you than that relationship because satisfaction is about this relationship with your inner being in other words you've just put the relationship with your inner being first that's what satisfaction tells you so you're satisfied you're satisfied you're satisfied all right now we're on to the subject of thoughts turning to things so all kinds of things are in the process of becoming so the answer to your question is it possible for the timing to just be off on something that's so right of course it is but you have to hear it in the way that we just said it if you're calling it wrong timing then you're introducing unnecessary resistance into the equation and really oh we want to say this to you to all of you we're just going to take a moment for dramatic pause because we really want you to hear this <laughs> ready yes. timing is none of your business yes. and here's why through life you've put so many things into your vortex and as you put these things into your vortex every one of them mattered to you and every one of them now is gathering cooperative components and everything that you put in there is a cooperative component to everything else that you put in there it is working out it is working itself out now imagine you trying to get in there and move those pieces around just step back from it and instead of you trying to move the pieces around then you just keep letting life help you put pieces in there trust that the cooperative components are becoming cooperative with each other you find one reason after another all day long to feel satisfaction and start with meditation because it's the easiest way to get there and then watch how everything in your vortex works itself out we want to talk about these thoughts turning to things because as thoughts are turning to things what you hear is to the things we say yeah <laughs> thoughts are turning to things and you think to the things to the money to the car to the man to the boy to the girl the but you just want it all now and we say no you don't and you say yes we do and we say no you don't and you say yes we do no you really don't yes I do no you really don't <laughs> no what you want is the experience of molding that into place so it's satisfying 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 because every moment along the way are manifestations 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 yes leading to the relationship that you want to call the big manifestation but can you feel us can you hear it that if you can stay satisfied then there's all kinds of morphing there's all kinds of becoming wouldn't it just be one of the most glorious things for you to ever witness feeling how you feel right now about the subject that you feel this way about wouldn't it just be the most delicious thing to watch this person who is in love with you in many ways fall so completely in love with you that not being with you is completely out of the question wouldn't you like to witness that and do you really want to rush right over there say no <laughs> no no because you one really of the... don't want to rush right over there because you know why if you did you wouldn't believe it you'd still think you cut the trees down <laughs> because the circumstantial evidence won't let you believe it because you've already collected data that tells you that he's not ready so the only way that you can believe it is by letting it evolve in a way that shows you that what you want is becoming or do I move on from it and does it hinder my desire and having that that place in that space in my life does that thought feel satisfying it that's the suckiest thought you've ever thought in your entire <laughs> life that's the least satisfying thought in this moment in time that is far 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 from a satisfying thought that's true because there's part of me that thinks I need to let go but I don't want to At blah 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 <laughs> you can't sort it out in any other way that was really good this is a good time for a segment of refreshment <laughs>